Alright guys, um, we're in while loops and do while loops, so while loops and PHP. Um, here's a quick look at uh, some example while loops, so if you need a second, go ahead and pause the video and take a look at that. Um, we'll go on, let's see here. So, uh, online night, it asks us to add a condition inside the parentheses. We'll say while while uh, loop so this is saying while true while loop trying it's true use echo to print out the loop is running so echo Loop is running. Oh, also it wants us to use some HTML in there. And as with HTML, we need to do the closing bracket. And click and save. Save and submit. Once again, expected p first child text to be equal to the loop is running. All right. Period. Is that our issue? All right. So we're going to control C and refresh this page. Go ahead and paste that in there. Should be the same. We're still getting an issue here. So let's go ahead and space this out. Refresh here. Alright, there we go. Uh, I think maybe we need to space out the equal size. Write your own while loop below the comment. All right, so we'll say uh, while let's create a let's create a variable in this case while i is equal to one or equal to zero, and we'll just call i here. Have it print out I and then we'll just set I equal to one. <coughs> so cool. Um, doesn't actually print out in this case. Um, if we wanted to print out, we'd have to use the paragraph uh, HTML tag. Alright, so convert your while loop from the last exercise into an end while. Um, okay, so this is just a little bit different. It's kind of the same thing from earlier. And it just as a different syntax. So, there we go. That should work just fine. I personally would do it the other way, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Inspect the code of the header, see if you understand how it works. If you don't know where it is, click save and submit. So, let's see here, we are printing out a, some text. This is just standard HTML. 
we are then creating a flip count variable. We're going to do it a couple times, and then if, else, and then while we'll flip, it's going to print out how many flips there was. And then it's going to print out the variables. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, fill in the missing information, make sure the do while loop works. So, in the do while loop, we need our brackets. And, uh, always throws a lot of people off is the ending bracket always comes before the loop condition. So, let's see. We have loop condition is false. While loop condition. And. We have to end it like that. So while false, do this. Oh, so or it's gonna run at least one time since it's false. All right, fill in this in. I think we should be good here. Oh, missed that. So there we go. The loop ran even though the condition false. Now the loop is still running. Because this is false, it normally wouldn't run, but because it's a do while, it will always run at least once in a do while. Create a do while loop below the comment within the PHP. Alright, so do and no do while. We'll just put false, save ourselves some time. Echo. Actually, we don't actually need to put anything in here, I don't think. So, that was while loops in PHP. Pretty intuitive. If you've already done uh, while loops beforehand. Um, the only thing that may be a little bit interesting is uh, this link type, but that <coughs> should just be something from <coughs> the HTML and CSS course. And the next function, the next thing for PHP is functions. So uh, we'll start uh, describing methods and functions. It looks like so. I'll see you guys next time for that.